Hello friends, in this video we're celebrating love by sharing you three ideas and tutorials for Valentine's Day themed arts and crafts. I am hosting a 14 days of Valentine's art over on my Instagram handle, so be sure to follow me for more art ideas. Rolling beeswax candles is one of our all-time, all-season favorite crafts. For this, we use the beeswax honeycomb kit from achildstream.com. We have both the traditional rainbow colors and the pastel colored kit. These kits include the wax sheets and the cotton wick, so all we do is place the wick on the sheet and roll. Rolling candles is a wonderful activity for the littles to develop their fine motor skills, uh, for pre-writing skills, so dexterity and hand-eye coordination. To decorate our candles, we use modeling wax. Uh, these are the thin sheets by Stockmar. Really good quality modeling wax. And along with this is a set of mini cookie cutters for punching shapes out of the wax. There is no one way to decorate candles. We are free to express creativity. Decorating our school room for Valentine's Day with window stars, well, hearts, and 15 of them to be exact. For this art project, you will need window star kite paper. Our favorite is from achildstream.com and a glue stick. For a small heart, I am using one square of six and a quarter by six and a quarter inches in the color of your choosing. And for a large heart, you will need four six and a quarter by six and a quarter squares. Glue all four squares together to form a large square and follow the same steps.
I will say that my six, almost seven year old does best at following uh, through my instructions side by side. Um, but I am able to modify the tasks, if you will, uh, for my younger children. So for example, here is my toddler uh, who is in charge of uh, placing small amounts of glue to hold down our window star. So you can always find or make small modifications to include your children, uh, even younger children, in your art projects. last art project is a wet felting project where we felted several of these beautiful hearts in celebration of love. The supplies you'll need are bubble wrap, uh, wool roving in a few different colors of your choosing. We went with Valentine's Day themed colors, a tray for catching the mess of water, hot soapy water. For soap, I use dish soap, this seven generation soap, uh, and a heart shaped cookie cutter. So you want to place the bubble wrap in the tray and the cookie cutter up top. So the first step is to gently pull apart or sort of shred the roving uh, like Bella is doing here and fill the cookie cutter with a generous amount of roving. Again, be generous here. Remember that once this is wet felted, it'll felt to about half of the width. So once you've added your generous amount of wool roving into the cookie cutter, begin to pour in your hot soapy water a little at a time. And if your child can do the pouring, encourage them to do so. Then the fun part of this project, encourage those little fingers to press and squish and press some more. The more the better. The littles will really enjoy this sensory experience. Uh, I have a toddler from three years old up to myself as an adult. We all really enjoyed this activity. Add more of your hot soapy water mixture, uh, or if you think you need more soap, you can also just add dish soap directly. So you want to make sure that you flip over very gently and repeat. At this point, you can also drain the excess water from the tray. Uh, I do find that this is where the bubble wrap helps as it does help keep the water underneath the bubble wrap and not fully submerging your wool roving. Make sure that you are also pressing in on the edges really well. And we did this for about seven to 10 minutes each side. And then I drained the excess water very carefully and laid it out to dry. These hearts make beautiful embellishments. I would suggest to attach by stitching, but of course you can always use a glue, maybe a fabric glue, a tacky glue, or even a spray adhesive. I'd stay away from a hot glue gun as it can ruin your delicate wool roving. Here I'm going to attach it to a square of wool felt. This is the four millimeters thick rustic wool felt from A Child's Dream. So you can make embellishments for a notebook cover, a banner, a crayon roll, or we chose to make a wall hanging. So friends, I hope that today I inspired you to create something beautiful with your little ones. My goal was to feature art projects that bring calm and love to your holiday. Also projects that can be modified for several ages. Remember that we shouldn't need a holiday to celebrate love. For love is the essence of life and should be celebrated every day. Thank you.